Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about Google Cloud Run. So, in, on every cloud platform, whether it is AWS, Azure or GCP, we have certain way through which we can deploy our code. And if we compare all the three uh, cloud framework, whether it is GCP, Azure or AWS, all three cloud providers they have these thing in common so if you want to deploy any application first is like you have compute engine in which you are going to manage the infrastructure <coughs> you can you are going to set up the infrastructure set up the vm install the necessary softwares so if you want to install python so you need to install the python software you need to install flask you need to, you need to install django if you are going to deploy a Node.js application, so for that you need to install Node, you need to install all the dependencies. So for setting up a VM to setting up all the software, that comes under the compute process. Then we have another process in which we do the containerization part. Again, it is also a deployment technique where we create a container and that container is deployed on ECS in terms of AWS, in terms of Azure, we have Kubernetes and in terms of GCP also we have this containerized solution. Now the third way through which we deploy our application is using app service. So that is a platform as a service in which you are provided a VM, you are provided all the software installed. The only thing that you need to do is you need to set up your code. So first was wherever you are starting from your VM. So you are going to configure your VM, install the software. Second part was like containerization part where you can make a container of your application and then deploy so that whatever environment is there on your local machine, same environment. So there is no issue while executing your code either on the local machine or on the remote machine so it is a container based then it is a next one is a platform as a service so in in case of azure it is called app service in case of aws we have elastic beanstack and again in case of gcp we have app engine so app service app engine elastic beanstalk so these are all platform as a service so installing the software installing the os you don't need to bother about these two things you just need to focus on your code then the third part is your serverless that is called lambda function in case of aws in case of azure it is called azure function in case of gcp it is called cloud function now the name is called cloud run so again in this case here you just need to write your code apart from this all the deployment again it's a fully serverless technique where you have the option to select any coding language and then you just need to deploy there are different triggers and this option is again available in all the platforms in terms of lambda function azure function cloud function so if I talk about uh, cloud run or cloud function, so you can write code using any of your favorite language, simple framework, libraries, whatever you want to do, package it up as a container run, cloud run deploy and your app will be live, simple. Provide it with everything it needs to run in a production. Before building a container is completely optional. You don't need to go for creating container. If you're using Node.js, Python, Java, .NET, Core or Ruby, you can use the source based deployment. So in source based deployment, you just need to upload a zip file uh, with all the dependencies, everything. And again, uh, based upon the platform that you have selected, it will deploy. So it is entirely serverless concept and you just need to upload your zip file. In case of app service, you need some CI, CD pipeline or some things, but here you can just upload your code and you have all the triggers available then it's a fast auto scaling because again it's a lambda function azure function or you will say 
cloud function, these are all fully serverless. Whether you own event-driven, long-running services or deploy containerized jobs to process data, cloud run automatically scales your containers up and down. So container, if you talk about, it is your code that is packaged with all the necessary dependencies. Then GPUs offers on-demand access to NVIDIA L4 GPUs for running. So if something is there that is requires higher memory, higher CPU, in that case, like we, uh, since all the deployment, it uses the same uh, infrastructure as Google uses for its product. So again, the advantage is like whatever applications you are going to build, it will be sharing the same infrastructure as of cloud. Then Cloud Run functions uh, write and deploy functions directly with Cloud Run, giving you complete control over the service configuration. So here you don't need to do anything. You just write your code, package it, select. So in here, like you have a option that you just select which platform you want to deploy and then you zip your code. So again, if you want to containerize it, containerize it. Otherwise, if you want to just upload a zip version, it will also work. So if you compare all the three versions, whether it is GCP, whether it is Azure, whether it is AWS, all the platforms have these things common. So these are the different ways to deploy your code. Compute engine, where you are setting up everything from scratch, you are setting up your operating system, you are setting your CPU, RAM, then you are setting up your public IP, then you are setting up your security groups, everything you have to set up and then you are going to install all the software. So everything from scratch on VM, again, you are managing auto scaling uh, manually. Then goes to the second part is your app service. No need to install operating system, no need to install any of the uh, platform, just deploy your code. Third part is container part. Again, it's a deployment technique in which you use Docker file to containerize your application and then simple on your ECS, on Kubernetes, you can just deploy again you can put it into the container registry and from there you can create tasks and then you can create services that will be managing those tasks so you have to mention that minimum number of tasks you want to run and based upon the health of those tasks it will auto scale and finally this the new latest version is your lambda function again it is the advanced version where again things are very simplified you can create a Lambda function, Azure function, cloud function, and then it can be an API, it can be a service, anything, and it can be have number of triggers through which you can invoke this. So this is all about uh, how we use different deployment techniques on different different platforms to make sure it suits your requirement. Based upon require your requirement, there are four techniques on every platform so any you can choose any of the platform the way through which the implementation is done it may be different because again some has graphical user interface in some we can go with both graphical user interface and both uh, your shell prompt or command prompt from there you can do so this was all about uh, deployment technique uh, on different different cloud platforms if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching this video.